Hello there, Martin and Melissa here from Schildbar Potsdam. And today we talk about attacking around the opponent's sword. Okay, so while we're usually trying to cover ourselves, if you just put on the mask, um, while we are attacking this week, we especially want to use timing and angle, especially footwork, to, to keep ourselves safe while we're attacking. So what do I mean by that? Well, usually the true edge, the large edge in line with the second knuckles of our blade, um, is facing towards the opponent so that I close the opponent's blade out while I thrust or I strike or anything to, to keep myself safe. But instead of doing that, you could also keep the false edge in contact with the opponent's blade and attack around the blade and still be safe anyway. What is the advantage of using the false edge instead of the true edge? Well, if you have another angle, so especially if I want to, to attack around an opponent's blade, then attacking with the false edge can keep my uh, keep my point in line longer than if I just turn towards the true edge. You see that my point's now facing towards here. If we just rotate a bit, yeah, like this, should be fine. So perfectly in line. If I just rotate towards the true edge, that's way harder. Okay, you see the points moving a good uh, 20 centimeters over around here. When do you want to do that? Well. Normally we don't want, you can stay there, uh, normally we don't want to attack into a close position like this. So on, Melissa is right now on her outside in Cola uh, Longa guard. So if I just uh, strike with the true edge, I'm running the risk of getting parried and counter thrusted in Guarde d'Entrare for Giovanni de la Gorkia terms. Instead, a provocation that is uh, found in Giovanni de la Gorkia is against Cola Longa Stretta, that we are thrusting with a punta reversa around the opponent's blade and then either we hit them or we're getting pushed outside so they need a stronger motion here because we are also reaching around right if you're a german longsword practitioner and you know your deplian you know this so you open them up to go for the next target which would be on the other side then right so especially this kind of thrust uh, attacks a position that is normally close, but maybe with a point too, uh, too much inwards, or the point is a bit weaker anyway. It's a weak of the sword after all, so we can strike here. We can also, if we rotate like this, we can also do the same stuff on the inside as well. So from Cola Longa Stretta against Cola Longa Stretta once again, this is an open line. Okay, and in general, we want to provoke or attack our opponent into an opening, right, to make them move. So I could, of course, still do my punta reversa and cover myself, but I could also just go for a punta dritta or punta ferma, basically, just going behind my blade. And you see the problem here might be, if we rotate again here, that I might leave myself open here on that line as well. To remedy this, Giovanni de la Gocchia tells us that we should get our left shoulder behind the blade. So we are doing this rotation, okay? We are getting behind our blade, even if uh, the false edge of our blade is facing towards the opponent. So if I'm here and uh, Melissa just tries to thrust me as well, it's way harder. So I defend myself by footwork going out of the way, but also by getting the blade in front of my whole body, okay? And here, everything still goes, what uh, went for the punta reversa. If Melissa parries here, right, she opens herself up on the other side and can either cut around or maybe even thrust around, okay? So all these disengages either over the opponent's blade, so this would be cut, or under the opponent's blade, this would be a thrust, are still viable. Okay, so just to summarize, right, we can not only attack with a true edge towards the opponent by closing uh, them out, but if we do it correctly, we can fairly safely attack them around their blade as well. Body position and footwork is uh, quite essential here. And if that doesn't land, well, then they need a wider parry because right, if uh, Melissa just parries the punta reversa here with the true edge, she doesn't need a big movement. If I just turn, I'm hitting once again, right? So she needs a bigger parry now. 
so she opens herself up more okay so play with these ideas of attacking around the blade uh, remember to always cover yourself and then you should be fine okay so thank you very much take care and ciao